this shunt has an app on a mobile phone it also has a display okay so i just got this display uh for monitoring purpose so that i can always have this at my desk and see what the capacity test is doing so instead of using my phone and having the screen to turn on okay so everything is set now so the first thing we are doing is to charge up this battery okay so this battery is going to be charged up so i will reset all this to 100 amp hours so you can see and let's turn on the inverter okay oh okay so the inverter is turned on for the first time okay so let's cycle through the screen there's an indication of red light there so let's cycle the screen and see what option we have so it's outputting to 20 volt at the moment so let's see oh this is a different sound okay so so the battery is showing custom okay so you can see we have agm we have lithium battery so that means this battery inverter can actually do communication fun enough i'll be testing that and see so you see felicity that's custom so let's leave it on custom and our battery cutoff is 11 volts oh i will need to consult this manual okay so 14 so we are setting this to 14.4 because that's what is recommended on the battery do i usually do 14.6 so let's see float so i'm setting this to 14.6 as well oh okay 14.5 okay you can set it to the same okay so uh what is this low voltage okay so this inverter comes with exciting features so you can see you can actually set a low voltage disconnect on the inverter itself Okay, so you can see high voltage disconnect is also 260. Interesting, so you don't need a voltage regulator. Mm. Okay, I'll try and get the manual of this inverter because all this menu are strange. Okay, but right now we'll just do the capacity test of this battery and move on. So I'm done with the charging. So all these I will have to check them which of them is actually working uh i think this one should be maximum charge bridge charge i'm just trying to guess so this one is like panel and grid charging priority so 40 amps is fine the sound is interesting <laughs> okay so i'll be connecting it to the grid now and let's charge this battery to 200 percent okay so we have connected the input now so i actually have a low um, voltage here so you can see we have 174 volt input so okay so you can see yeah it has started charging so it's charging at 36 amps okay 36 37 so you can see this icon is changing okay so it's changing yeah so we are charging at 40 amps okay so let's see how it goes so once the voltage drop on the inverter the power derates okay so that's why the charging current is getting limited okay so you can see so we have grid input that's green light and you can see that um orange blinking indicates charging okay so let's see how it goes so this should be full in any moment because our uh our battery is at 68 percent let's see the bms okay so i have opened the app so you can see on the app we are charging at 39.8 okay so the inverter got to the low voltage disconnect there okay so you can see the inverter got to 154 so this inverter has a voltage regulator inbuilt that cut out the power once it reach a certain voltage that's a new one so you don't need a voltage regulator on this but i will still rely on an external voltage regulator the charge is completed now so you can see everything is zero zero the battery is at 14 volts okay so you can see the cell ovp that's over voltage protection and the charging mosfet is off we have 100 percent soc already and the average voltage is 3.5 so we can say this battery is 100 percent okay so 
here we go so we are about to start this capacity test so you can see a lapse capacity is what we are looking at so now I've turned on the inverter let's see the idle consumption okay okay it's not outputting any voltage yet so let's see oh see the starting power oh wow okay so it's outputting 220 at the moment let's see so it consumes 26 watts that's a lot so it consumes 26 watts on idle so you can see the capacity is counting down on the remaining and the elapsed capacity is counting up so we are interested in the elapsed capacity here this will also serve as a load test for this inverter currently we have about 400 watts of load on this okay so it's showing 400 watts so you can see here we have 400 watts okay i think we have some load that are just coming up this is washing machine currently running through the inverter okay so that is why it's showing 400 watts okay so you can see this is 400 watts okay i've done one amp hour from this battery so i wait for the washing machine to finish then we can do the um, freezer test light load fans and all are good they are taking about 400 watts from the inverter okay so there's something interesting about this bms so you can see here it's saying estimated time empty so that's how long it will take us to empty this battery using this load okay so that's a good feature there from jvd okay so the washing machine is done let's go and test the freezer oh overload oh so that's an overload okay and it's not shutting down so it shows an overload briefly and you can see what the um, inverter drew from the uh, battery draw about 120 amps okay so it draw about 120 amps to start that freezer so the freezer um, overloaded the um, inverter however it did not shut down actually it thought testing okay so our first test on the inverter we read 1.7 kilowatts Okay, so on the next test it showed a uh, overload but the test the third one it shows overload for about five seconds before recovering so the freezer is still on at the moment and is currently running so we'll wait for the freezer to turn on and let's see if it will do any overload again okay so the test is going now so you can see the freezer is currently on so consuming about 300 watts with all my other load like fans and lights freezer test passed light um, washing machine passed then let's go and test um, iron okay so there's a 1000 watt iron i would like to test out let's see how it goes so i've set the load to percentage now so let's see how many watts it will consume we are plugging the present iron now okay so you can plug the oh 105 percent 95 percent 96 94 percent oh so we are doing over 100 amp hours so you can see this inverter running you see the bms 106 amp hours 106 amp hours inverter is running at 95 percent oh this is a pressing iron okay so you can see this is a pressing iron so you can see it's running at 96 percent this thing is showing overload so it's not counting the okay, you can see the capacity is counting so fast so you see yeah okay so it has cycled down <laughs> so that's iron on it so great one also passed iron test so let's turn the freezer again because i turn it off for the iron okay so that was the freezer that came on now so you can see it spiked to about um 800 900 watts then it continued to run okay so the freezer is running now so we should be done in another two hours or so